Hello everybody, this is Amanda Pizzolato, alias Aurora Mandeville, coming to you from Colorado Springs, Colorado, where the icy fingers of Jack Frost have taken its toll on the trees here. Yes, the leaves have just about all fallen. Today we've got a few questions from the higher-ups of Fellowship and Fairy Dust. What is Fellowship and Fairy Dust? Well, simply put, it is a, a blog and a magazine for fan fiction writers and for authors of any kind who want to get just, you know, up up their readership, for the most part. Um, I don't know, I can't think of anything else to say for that. Because that's pretty much what it is. For what inspires me, well, just about anything and everything. I have stories inspired by my friends that I'm still trying to complete for Christmas for them. Um, I'm inspired by the scenery around me. I, I'm also inspired by stories that I have originally read and what if scenarios. For instance, what if Batman was really a bat man? <laughs> Stuff like that. Um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that just inspires me. Some of my ideas have come to me in my dreams. Really weird, I know. But they're pretty interesting. What can I say? You, you have to just write about it. And I hope you find some of the stuff I have written that was based on dreams. And take a look and just see how weird it really is. Um, what does Fellowship and Fairy Dust mean to me? Well, it means... Getting to work with a wonderful group of people that I've become great friends with. It also means taking part in something that I feel brings a little hope and joy to the rest of the world. And a little self-serving helps my readership. It, you know, puts me out there. Um, it's certainly a lot of fun. You should try it out. How did I come about it? Well, I was following oh, actually one of the writers on Tumblr, one of the writers who submitted articles for Fellowship and Fairy Dust previously, when it was Fellowship of the King. And she sent out a memo from Avelina calling for more writers. I took my chances and, you know, got on board, and it's been history ever since. What do I do for Fellowship and Fairy Dust? Well, primarily I am a writer. I have done a couple of the graphic pages on one of the some of the older magazines for Fellowship and Fairy Dust, uh, not Fellowship and Fairy Dust, Fellowship of the King, sorry. Um, and I primarily take care of the Twitter account. So if you don't see a whole lot of Harry Potter stuff, that's why I'm not a big fan of Harry Potter. If you want me to stay on top of that, let me know. I'll definitely give back on more Harry Potter stuff. I saw some stuff that I might like to post. <laughs> where would I like Fairy Little Ship and Fairy Dust to go? Or where would I like to see it go? I definitely would love to see it in a physical format. I love having the physical magazine in my hands, the physical book. I'm not exactly an e-reader. I'm I, I do have an, a few ebooks and I publish ebooks, but I am more of the physical. I, I have to have the physical copy in my hands. And I would so like to have for the magazine for Fellowship and Fairy Dust in a physical copy so that I can just open it and. Oh, that's just my aesthetic. What can I say? Um, and I would definitely would like to see more readers and perhaps even paying customers that would be nice too um just just to see just to have it become a real what would we would consider a real magazine like in the stores and whatnot with a large following and a large number of people on board taking care of everything i would love to just see it just grow basically just grow um and why does the world need fellowship and fairy dust well, like I said, it brings a little bit of light and joy to the world. With some of the stories that we post, you know, and publish and all of that, 
Um, and then it gives others a chance to get their work out there. So, you know, um, how do I put this? Coming from a Catholic worldview, it's too that way we can have more Catholic pieces out there. We don't have enough. And so for this to have, you know, or just Catholic, Christian, just religious pieces of any kind, we need more of that out there because this worldview that we have right now, it's kind of anti-religious and it's not giving, putting us in a good light. So it'd be nice for us to get our voices out there and show them, hey, guess what? We could come up with just as awesome and epic stories just like you. And I mean, Tolkien and Lewis did in verse, and guess what? They were Christian too. Get over it. Um, so, yeah. Just to get more, you know, pieces, good quality pieces out there. Because we've got a bunch of trash and... People need some, some good stuff to look forward to. Um, I think that's it. So, real quick, I am going to be doing the Nano Ray Month or well, the National Writing National Novel Writing Month. Yeah. Um, so, keep an eye out for a couple more novels from me. I well, I would like to have a couple more novels. We'll see how it works. But um, have a great day.